Okay, so as we all know, some time ago I made a video about a brand new chair that I got, and well, I broke it. I forgot to build like the little like um, hydraulic cover thing. You know, I forgot to put that in the actual build. Somehow I forgot, and uh, the chair just collapsed on itself. <laughs> so this chair is officially broken. This is probably like my fourth or fifth office chair that I've gone through in like three years, <sighs> and we broke it. Awesome. And got another one for Black Friday because it was on sale for 130 bucks versus like $300 price tag. We're going to build it. We're going to build this one. And I've also got a really cool thing we're going to be opening up here. It's a gift from some of my friends over at Team War, a team that I've been editing for for a little bit now. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Let's actually take a look at this first. So we're going to do this opening pretty chill. Um, let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. My box cutters are actually in my uh, kitchen right now, so I'm going to use a pair of handy dandy tweezers that I use for when I'm building Gumpla and placing parts on one. Now we're going to use these to slice them open. They're pretty sharp, so we should be able to tear these uh, right open. Okay, so again, shout out to Kevin, the owner of Team War. I've been doing a lot of video editing for him as one of his personal editors over the last couple of months. It's been a blast. He's a real easy guy to work with, and uh, we've worked on a lot of cool, fun, simple, vlogging kind of like projects for the most part. He's basically restarting his career as a YouTuber. I'm kind of helping him get along with that. And he decided to send me a gift as a show of appreciation for all the hard work we've been putting in together. Let's go ahead and take some of this stuff out. And I already knew what it was gonna be. So today, this is a part of it, but today we've got a brand new pair of Astro A40s coming in. Now for reference, these are the Astro A50s that I use for all my other regular gaming content. This is just the normal stuff. These are wireless. They have a lot of issues with sound quality sometimes, Bluetooth issues. The Astro A40s are the version of the headset that came out before the A50s did. They actually are fundamentally better than the A50s uh, ever were, to be perfectly honest. So let's see here. We got a nice new gift in and uh, let's crack it open. Let's crack it open. I know you guys can't really see it from this angle, but I'll show you kind of everything. Shout out to Astro, shout out to Kevin, shout out to Team War. And they come in this really, really cool pouch. Wow, I actually didn't know that. That's actually really cool. Okay, let's crack these suckers open. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that right there. This is clean. Wow, this is sick. Okay, wait, let's, let's make sure everything doesn't fall down. Gotta move some stuff around over here. This is the most jank box opening ever, unboxing, whatever you want to call it. But these are a red pair of Astro A40s. And they look incredible. Let's go ahead and just a uh, quick little peel off here. <clears throat> Gotta do the other side too. That's awesome. Wow, all right. Let me see, what's the left and what's the right side? Does it matter? We got more plastic to peel off here. Okay. So if I'm thinking about how my headset's orientation is, the left side is where the microphone usually always goes. Uh, with the pair of Astro A40s and the A50s, you could also pop these off, these little cups. I don't know if these actually work with my A50 cups, but they feel like the same kind of texture, so I don't ever see a reason to, I won't ever see a reason to probably swap them out. What makes me mention that is the A50s, by default, they came with like a pair of like fur headphone cups and they made my ears sweat really badly, but these are leather and I think these will be a little bit better than that. Cause I'm using the leather version on my A50s. I ended up buying like a leather cup replacement thing. All right, but enough about the A50, enough about the A50s. Let's see how they fit. I like the red. <laughs> that is nice and snug too. If you're wondering about the microphone, here's a microphone right here. It's attachable, which is pretty cool. It's going, uh, let's see. So the headphone jack is on the left hand side right here. We should be able to just click that in like that. Now these are a wired pair of headphones. The A50s have the convenience of being wireless, but that really doesn't matter for what I'm going for. I'm gonna be hooking these up tonight and giving them a try. I'm just kind of seeing how they feel. With the other parts of this, you can actually swap out the plates on the left and the right sides of these. Let's go ahead and put the uh, Team War embroidery on here. They're magnetic, so they just pop out really easy. Now these are custom. So for those that do not know, Team War is a competitive Call of Duty team slash a competitive Halo team. And they've been around for a long, long time. They produced a lot of infamous Call of Duty pros, Envoy on Los Angeles Thieves, Cami on uh, the Toronto Ultra. I think he's still in the Toronto Ultra. It's kind of crazy to think too, Envoy and the Los Angeles Thieves just won COD Champs. So, you know, they produced nothing but greatness over there, obviously. And I promise I'm not just gassing things up. Like I'm being completely honest here. Okay, so it looks like we've got a plate for just the left and the right side. 
Uh, you don't have like a war one for the left and then a war one from the right. You know, you just you have specific ones for each side. So team war on the left and then one of these on the right. You can put either or on both sides. Like if you don't plan on using a microphone, that's also an option. Let's see here. So we're gonna go ahead and pop their logo. So the branding is Roman based. You know, they use a lot of Roman numerals and a lot of Roman insignias and designs with a lot of their logos, their branding, etc. So it's pretty cool. I think it just clicks in like this. Yep, it's in there. Yep, just pops in like that. That is clean. We're gonna go ahead and pop the microphone jack out really quick, take off the other plate. Pop this one in. There we go. Team War. <laughs> Dude, this is sick. This is one of the coolest gifts I've ever gotten. Ever since I started my whole little adventure into esports in some capacity and gaming. So shout out Team War, shout out Kev or Surge, shout out all the love they've been giving me for the last couple of months ever since I started uh, working with that team and with him. And um, looking forward to working more with you, brother. And I also look forward to trying these on tonight because we're gonna be playing a lot of COD probably tonight once I slack off from editing a couple of videos. That's a joke. <laughs> I, don't, I don't slack off usually. And of course, we've got the wires. They're color coded so they match the rest of the branding with the headset, which is pretty cool. So here we go. I mean, typical Astro stuff. This actually slides. What is this? I think this is like a mute button. You see this? I guess it's like a mute button. And then you've got two options or two converter pieces, one for the microphone. Um, one for the actual headset itself. And I actually have two spots on the back of my PC, my gaming PC in particular, just for this. My Astro A50s are, they use USBs. They use my USB ports, so. I don't know why they didn't include the ability to swap out the plates on the side of the A50s. I think that's a cool feature, to be perfectly honest. It's one of the best features about them, probably. Get everything locked in, and I think we are set. So the only thing that's gonna be a smidge awkward with this setup is the fact that well, the PC that I've got it connected to is on the right side, and this is on the left. You know, like it's on the left-hand side where the plug goes in, or when the the you know the headphone jack goes into. So I have to kind of figure a way to, like maybe loop this around, I guess, and just create more cable mess. We'll loop it around for now. I'm gonna tuck it through here. There we go. That works, I guess. And I can just kind of tuck these on here. That works until we get a proper stand for them, but I love the way these look and I can't wait to hear what they sound like. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna have to set up everything with my um, virtual audio cable software or voice meter. I'm gonna set all that up really quick. Let me see if I can get this rolling. Okay, so I couldn't actually get the <laughs> headset to like collaborate or cooperate with my PC. I gotta do some setup because I use a variety of different audio cables and a whole bunch of things like voice meter and whatnot. So again, we're, we're gonna get all that set up off, off this video pretty much. But again, shout out to Kev, shout out to Team More, shout out to you guys for sending me this new headset it's it's really cool just the i i follow this team since 2019 or even earlier than that as early as 2018 and it's just kind of cool to be working with them and like doing things with them being a part of this new journey going into 2023 looking forward to it man thanks a lot i really appreciate it now for the next part of today's adventure this is going to be the other fun part we're going to have to put this chair together i don't know if i'll record the whole thing because you've already seen me build this chair once it's literally the exact same make and model you know let's go ahead and crack this sucker open Yeah, it's a lot of parts. Got some wheels, got some screws. Got the arms. I still have to throw out the other one too, which is funny. We're gonna be looking for the one key piece that I missed the last time that I built this chair. All this cardboard out here. Let's see what we got. The backing. Here's the pump parts. Okay, I see the hydraulic. 
Here's the hydraulic part that I like. But I don't think there's a cover for it. That could be a problem. Okay, so one of the downsides with the other chair was I thought I missed a part when it came to putting the chair together. Like I thought there was supposed to be like some kind of hydraulic cover that covers, well, the <laughs> the hydraulic, pretty much the gas lifter as it's called in the instructions. I thought there was supposed to be a cover for this, but there wasn't. So the other chair just broke. We're gonna be more careful with this one basically. But I'm gonna go ahead and build this. You don't need to see me build this chair for a second time in a row. I'll be back with you in just a little bit. So that one's gonna have to get thrown out tomorrow. So we have the room in the office for it, or for the new one, but voila. Can I just say I hate how Yu-Gi-Oh cards warp? I don't know if you can see here, but they all bend when it gets colder outside. I hate that so much. Alrighty, holding chair, you've done your part. You've held on to me for about a month and a half. Look at the size of this den in it. Been nice knowing you. <sighs> Thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoyed this fun video, be sure to leave a like on it. Go check out Team War on Twitter. Again, shout out to them, shout out to Kev for sending me a brand new pair of Astro A40s. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna make sure I can get everything working on my PC in a timely manner. I just noticed these headphones can flip the other way. Okay, wait, maybe I can have my cable on the right side. Oh, what? Well, you can't flip your audio, so it doesn't really work like that. <laughs> Again, shout out that team over there. Thanks for sending me this awesome gift. Chat, or <laughs> I said chat. Guys, we're sitting comfortably again, which means I'll probably be a little more motivated to actually make videos. When you're sitting in a folding chair all day and your spine is in absolute pain, kind of sucks making videos. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you later. Be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more content. I've actually got another lamp coming in Monday, so I'm gonna make a video about that one, because why not? Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Peace. Sensational.